This week on the head-to-head -head debate, we got, again, two people from the professional or strategic services teams on um, Optimove. We got Yalon Pauker. You see him for the very first time on our show. So congratulations, Yalon, and thank you for joining. Strategic services team leader. And I think you've seen Yoni before. You're going to see him again on this episode. Um, a severe case of overexposure. Yoni Barzilai, uh, director of strategic, strategic services, talking to us from Williamsburg. And again, this week's debate is uh, strengthening the strong versus saving the weak, which is something that you could maybe even see on a presidential debate, but we are talking about obviously customers. And again, just reminding the rules, 30 seconds each, and then another 30 seconds to respond to the previous guys, 30 seconds. And we're gonna start with Yoni, right? Yes. Go ahead. All right. All right, so it's a pretty simple equation. Uh, everyone's familiar with the Pareto law that 20% generate 80%. And in, in the case of uh, businesses, the top 20% of customers typically generate around 80% of the business. And sometimes even more than that. And since these are top customers, you can be more generous with promotions and they'll appreciate them more than your low value customers who have a high tendency of becoming cherry pickers. So cherry pickers are customers who come only for discounts and um, they basically, they want to take advantage of these promotions. So high value customers, you're the top customers. That's time. All right. Thank you. But you managed to squeeze quite a lot in those 36 seconds. Um, Yalon, your first take. Okay, so you call it saving the weak customers, but in the reality, they are the core customers, which could be around 80% of your business. So why would you neglect to communicate with the majority of your customer base? It's worth investing in them. It's a large amount of customers. We are data-driven people. We need the core customer to analyze them, to learn from them, to understand their behavior, to, to understand what retains them. And uh, this is also exactly the point where you can show your value as a CRM team. Perfect. 30 seconds. Um, Yoni. Yoni, we can't hear you. We lost you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was on mute. Give me back my 30 seconds. <laughs> all right. So not all of, your, all of your top customers will remain loyal forever. And the effect of a top customer churning is much stronger or larger on the business, on the bottom line, than even a large group of low value customers um, that come into the business. And so that's one side of things. And the second is that your top customers, you've gained their trust. They're more inclined to try new parts of your offering. It's easier to cross sell them into new parts and basically expand the revenue that you generate from them compared to low value customers. Okay. You even got those two seconds spare. <clears throat> hey, Alon, go ahead. Okay, so I hear your point, Yoni, but the impact of advertising to the core is much higher than the impact of advertising to the VIPs. VIPs are already active. They are loyal, they are spending a lot of money. This is why they are called VIPs. The incremental value from the core is much higher. You also have lower costs because you can send them lower offers, but you also have much more opportunities for cross-selling them and upselling them. All right. Um, again, I think that's the fastest four takes that we've ever had. This one was 27 seconds. And again, I must say that sometimes I, it's very easy for me to take one side, but you just managed to confuse me a little more, which I think is a good thing in a debate. Um, maybe we'll have a part two of this debate. No, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, it's fine. Um, so anyway, thanks for joining and for your time. Uh